arriving in Porto and uh close to Porto. Les Chaux. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Close to Porto. And um it's crowded in here. The there are is full. Birds like this everywhere. And also the marina's full of boats. Birds. Lots and lots of birds. There they go. Like, this is crazy. So you'll be swabbing the deck tomorrow morning? Swabbing the deck. Yar. <laughs> Yar. Anchored. We made it. Star shape. Uh, I don't know. They don't build forts like that anymore. But I guess the idea is you got these out looking areas so you can see the one wall from the other wall. So anybody who's climbing up, you don't have to poke your head out from that one. You can do kind of interlocking arcs of fire, whatever they might be using. Cool. So we tried to check out the fort, but uh, it's in use. The uh, maritime police or port control port or something. control yeah. operates out of there and uh, can't go in. Too bad. I've been looking for what I call a Kevin Oak hat. through uh, this little town north of Porto, Portugal today, and I found my very own Kevin Hat. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Kevin Oak is someone we met first in French Polynesia. Mm -hmm. It's good. It, it's it's going to do the job. It's going to keep the sun off my face. Yeah. My nose. Yeah. Heading to Porto this morning. We were just north of it before. Hoping to get a spot in there, we'll see. It's been pretty busy. Kevin's called them, I don't know, five, six, seven times. I call back later. Yeah, so we'll see. Where are you going with that, Kevin? Bring it up to the marina office. It's contacted. There's a little tear in it. And uh, contacted the a local sail maker. And they said they would have a look at it, pick it up. So I'm gonna bring it up. Get the A2 all patched up. Sweet. Get your hand out of there. <laughs> Here we go. So this is the Eiffel Bridge. The guy who built the Eiffel Tower also built this bridge. Or designed at least. Designed. Yeah.
be a show tonight. Somewhere near here. Somewhere. I mean, there's obviously going to be one here. It's quite the presence. These things are really fun. So these are these are azulejos, I think, is how they're pronounced. And there's like, I don't know, there's a lot of buildings in Porto that have these blue painted tiles and decorations. Very intricate. We found Kevin, the peacock. In Portugal, the rooster is a symbol of faith, good luck, and justice, based on the legend of the old cock of Barcelos. As the legend goes, a pilgrim is at a banquet when he gets accused of stealing. He points to a roasted rooster, declaring his innocence is as sure as the rooster crowing. The rooster then stands up and crows, proving his innocence. Can't smell video, but it smells pretty good. It's a big patio. And this is the year of the harvest. Now you know, the year of the harvest does not correspond to the year of the barrel that started aging. So, the wine was from 2018, however, it only arrived here in 2019. Three years, so this year we are going to bottle the reserve. And next year we are going to bottle the LVs. It's a simple as that. So, as you can see, three different types of three different years of aging can give you different wines. And it's going to take me all of the way to the second floor of the vintage room, which is called the bottling floor. There, the wine will be filtered, so the wine will not age anymore in the bottle. It will be cleaned, take away the sediments and pieces of oak that might have been in the wine, and then we can bottle and send it. All right, we got our new fridge electrical control unit. 
So this is the old one. It has a little panel on it that I don't think is that relevant. And then this is the new one, the one with the yellow. Um, so I've plugged in the fan, the fan and the thermostat, the two leads, and the power. I'm gonna go turn this on and see if it makes any noises for unit. Okay, what have we learned? These are the wires that are supposed to be providing the power to the fridge unit. And we've learned that it's not providing as much power as it should be. It's inconsistent as there's voltage drop. And there's there's quite a lot of corrosion here. It's it's corroded. But he thinks it's it's somewhere before the switch. They spoke Portuguese, so <laughs> that's online. that's like an eighty percent understanding. The electrician We'll run a new wire. I've traced the power supply cables from the fridge unit. They come underneath this cabinet, underneath the fridge cabinet, pop out here, and then it looks like there's some kind of a hokey junction. Oh, electrician's here. Okay. Hi. Hi. Yeah. We're gonna be we're gonna do some waves shallowing here. So that's it. We're leaving Dura Marina. Heading to Nazare. It's uh, six twenty five in the evening. A bit rolling. Yeah, the swell is pretty big, but once we uh, turn a little bit more, it'll be behind us, so it should be more comfortable. But we're going to do an overnight sail. Here we go. Coming into Nazare, which um, this area, I guess, develops really large waves, and there have been several world record sized waves, breaking waves here. We are off season, so no giant waves. And apparently, the entrance is quite wavy, so we'll see what happens as we approach.
Nazare is a small fishing town along the Silver Coast and is split in two by a large ridge. The upper part of town is called Sitio and comes to a point with an old fort that has a small lighthouse on top. The fort has been converted into a museum commemorating the surfers who dared to surf Nazare's giant waves. The underwater canyon in the bay amplifies the waves due to drastic change in depth and can create up to 30 meter super crest waves that break just beyond the lighthouse. This is a more traditional fish, fish dish. Fish dish. <laughs> fish dish. I don't know what that is yet. Rice. Kevin's got chicken and spaghetti. That's rice. They call it uh, tomato rice. But it doesn't look tomato. Do you think that is? I think he said it's coming on the side. Salty. <laughs> Savory. Mm. It's good, whatever it is. Mm. We're also looking at Kevin's brand new beard right now. It's freshly shorn. <laughs> Very nice. The Seiko watches. <laughs> Sunny and cold. Ready for some warmer climates, please. Il fumait la pipe et il buvait de la bière dans un cabaret d'envers. Penché sur son verre, le vieil homme était mort, mais tout le monde entendait encore. Oh, tout pour ma gueule, ma jolie, jolie gueule Tout pour la pierre et le tabac Tout pour les femmes aussi, à nous les plus jolies À tous et nous, à faire de tout ce qu'elle Oh, tout pour ma gueule, ma jolie, jolie gueule Tout pour la pierre et le tabac Tout pour les femmes aussi, à nous les plus jolies À tous et nous <laughs> Bye.